Athletes um, traditionally have been returned to play by sets of guidelines that are based on arbitrary time. Um, really the best concussion management is deciding to not return the athlete to play until their brain is completely back to normal. And in order to do that, you need to objectively evaluate uh, their visual function, their balance, their cognitive function, and have complete resolution of all of their symptoms uh, prior to allowing them to return to play. Many providers in the community um, manage mild traumatic brain injury um, based on benign neglect. Um, they um, watch and observe the symptoms over a period of time and many patients do get better with just rest and with enough rest and time but uh, significant concussions that have cognitive visual or vestibular deficits won't get better just with time and waiting. So early uh, evaluation in a center such as our own where we do a complete um, evaluation of all of their potential deficits and start early uh, management and treatment can ensure a quicker recovery um, and more complete recovery. One thing that's often overlooked in concussion care by um, care received in the ER, urgent care, or primary care physician is the importance of uh, complete physical and mental rest. Uh, so it's routine part of our management to remove athletes from school or uh, employee, employees from their job to allow their brain to rest. And many times that goes unrecognized and uh, athletes continue to attend school, which drives up their symptoms. Um, we have a return to learn program where every athlete that leaves our center has a um, individual uh, academic accommodation recommendations to set them up to succeed as a learner even though they may have some mild cognitive deficits.